This video will discuss the schedule template and generating schedules. The first thing you want to do is go to the show menu, teams tab, schedule, advanced schedule, and schedule template. You're going to look up the contract that you're trying to set the schedule template up for. In this case, it's this one here, 275P0. And we're going to go to the first column, view by employee. There's two things we need to do, show open shifts. As you can see, that's going to show us all the shifts that are available. And then before we start assigning them, we want to lock the time frame. That will prevent you from changing the hours set for each of these shifts when you go to uh, drag and drop them to the correct driver. So here we have trip 1A and trip 1. We're going to assign it to the drivers. And you can do that for each day. So again, you can select whatever driver is covering this run. Another way you can do this is to select that shift and assign the employee to it. So you select the shift, assign employee, a list of employees will appear, and then you can press the uh, plus icon here. And as you can see, once these shifts have been assigned to the drivers, it will show blue on the bottom here. And that's just to give you an indication as to what shifts still need to be filled. All right. Once you've filled all the shifts for the week, you'll see that everything is blue on the bottom here. And what you've essentially done is told the system, I want to repeat this schedule. Um, every time I generate a schedule, week in and week out. And once you do that, you can go back to the show menu, again to the Teams tab, Schedule Templates. And what we're going to do now is, since you've already assigned those shifts, you can generate a schedule from that template. So we're going to select the Generate Schedule tab here. It's going to say, are you about to generate a schedule? Do you want to continue? Yes. Now you have to select the period of time that you're interested in. So in this particular case, let me just select the 18th. So it's going to give me a schedule from the 18th to the 24th of October. Save. OK, so just to recap, We've set up the schedule template for the recurring schedule. We came back and we generated a schedule for a particular week. So now we want to go back to the show menu and we're just going to go to the regular schedules here. You can go ahead and uh, either search here or you can see the uh, schedule 275P0 for the time that we set up from the 18th to the 24th. You can also make it a little easier to see by typing up uh, the contract number there and just isolating it for that particular schedule that you're interested in. So now we go to view by employee. And this is the schedule for this particular week. Once you're ready, and everything is good to go, you can post the schedule. Click yes. And at this point in time, 
the drivers, when they log in, will be able to see their schedule for the week. If you should need to make a change to this, if someone calls out and you have to replace that person with another driver, you can then unpost the schedule, select yes. You can uh, assign the shift to another driver, make whatever edits you need to, and then you can post the schedule again. Now we made some edits to the schedule for this particular week from the 18th to the 24th, and that's fine. Well, what about the following week? So we're gonna go back to the show menu and we're going to go to the schedule template. And we wanna generate a schedule for the following week, let's say. So here's the template for 275P0. We're gonna generate a schedule for the following week. We'll open up the calendar here. So the following week will be the 25th through the 31st. We're gonna generate a schedule for that week. Back to the show menu, and we're gonna look at the schedules. I'm gonna write in 275P0 and hit enter. Now you can see the schedule that we made for the week of the 18th and the week that we made for the uh, the schedule that we made for the week of the 25th. So view by employee here. Okay. And so that's the schedule for the following week. And again, you can make whatever edits you need, and then you can post the schedule and you can unpost the schedule if you want to make any changes. You can do this on a weekly basis for a pay period a week, or you can do it for the entire month. You can always go back and make changes to the weekly schedules as needed.